The global transport aviation market has a new strong competitor, the Embraer KC-390 from Brazil. Although it is not yet well known, the KC-390 has been taking up space among NATO members as a replacement for old planes C-130 Hercules in countries such as Portugal and the Netherlands, in addition to being selected by other nations, such as Hungary and the Czech Republic. But how does the KC-390 compare to the C-130J Super Hercules, the most modern and capable version of the Hercules family? Starting with the dimensions, the KC-390 it is a little longer, at 35 meters, compared to 34 meters for the Super Hercules. The two have exactly the same maximum height, at 11.8 meters, but the Super Hercules wins in terms of wingspan, which is around 5 meters larger, reaching 40 meters compared to 35 meters for the KC-390. It can be observed, therefore, that the two have very similar overall dimensions, definitely being aircraft of the same category. However, when it comes to a transport plane, more important than its external dimensions is the size of its cargo compartment. The cargo compartment of the KC-390 it is 18.5 meters long, including the unloading ramp, 2.95 meters high at its minimum, and 3.45 meters wide. The Super's cargo compartment Hercules it is 16.6 meters long, but without considering the unloading ramp. With the ramp, it is approximately 19.7 meters long. The width is 3 meters and the height is 2.74 meters. The dimensions for the cargo compartment are also very similar, with the Super Hercules compartment winning in length, while the KC-390 compartment wins in width and height. However, the internal volume of the cargo compartment of both, which is a more accurate measurement, is practically the same. There are 169 cubic meters for the KC-390, against 170 cubic meters for the Super Hercules. As for transport capacity by weight, the advantage clearly belongs to the KC-390. It can take off with up to 26 tons of maximum load, compared to the Super Hercules' maximum load of 21 tons, certainly due to the more capable propulsion. This advantage in weight carrying capacity is multiplied by the number of aircraft. A fleet of four KC-390 it could carry practically the same total load as a fleet of five C-130J Super Hercules. The KC-390 it also has a higher cruising speed. While the cruising speed of the Super Hercules is approximately 650 km per hour, the cruising speed of the KC-390 is up to 870 km per hour. Initially this may not seem very important, but in practice a higher cruising speed means less flight time, which consequently releases the aircraft sooner to carry out another mission. Imagine, for example, a mission to transport a cargo a distance of 3,000 kilometers. The KC-390 it would take approximately 3 hours and 25 minutes to make this trip, while the C-130J Super Hercules would take approximately 4 hours and 35 minutes, that is, before the Super Hercules reaches its destination the KC-390 I could already be returning for a second trip. The maximum range, however, weighs in favor of the Super Hercules, which can make an unloaded flight of up to 3,510 nautical miles, the equivalent of 6,318 kilometers without auxiliary tanks, while the KC-390 in the same conditions can fly up to 3,370 nautical miles, equivalent to 6,066 kilometers. This is likely due to the Super Hercules turboprop engines being more economical. It can be seen, therefore, that despite being aircraft of the same category, the only clear advantage of the C-130J Super Hercules over the KC-390 is in the travel range without auxiliary tanks. The cargo compartment of both has basically the same internal volume, but the KC-390 it carries more weight and has a higher speed, which creates a multiplication factor that means that a fleet of KC-390 has a significantly greater and more agile transport capacity than a fleet of the same size of C-130J Super Hercules aircraft. Also according to the Dutch Ministry of Defense, 
where the two aircraft competed for the contract to acquire a new transport aircraft, the KC-390 it has greater operational availability and requires less maintenance than the C-130J Super Hercules. Another advantage of KC-390 about Super Hercules is not exactly its capabilities, but rather its age. The C-130J Super Hercules is an evolution of the original Hercules, whose first flight took place in 1954, almost 70 years ago. The Super Hercules it represents the maximum evolution of the model, so it will be difficult to improve beyond this point. Already the KC-390 it is a much newer project, which flew for the first time in 2015, which means that it will have much greater potential for future growth, and this is an important factor for those looking for a transport aircraft that should operate for several decades. This set of characteristics could make the KC-390 the natural successor to Hercules on the international market. After conquering NATO countries, the KC-390 is now emerging as one of the favorites for a major acquisition of transport planes for the Indian Air Force, in addition to attracting the attention of nations such as South Korea, Sweden, South Africa as well as countries in the Middle East, with great chances of sales for all of them. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.